Hey guys, hi Dubai Soap here, and today I want to talk about iOS 11 on the iPhone 5S. Now, usually Apple, every time they release a new major software, they leave out features on older devices in order to entice customers to upgrade to the latest hardware. But did they do this on iOS 11? So in this video, we're going to take a look at that, and I think you're going to be blown away as much as I was when I installed iOS 11 on my iPhone 5S. S, which by the way is the oldest iPhone to support the latest version of Apple's operating system and every year I try to give you guys an idea on what the latest or their oldest hardware can do on the latest software to see if Apple is really optimizing it for the older devices as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start and take a look here at a quick review of iOS 11 Beta 1. Keep that in mind, Beta 1 could be a little glitchy on the iPhone 5S. Okay, so first let's go ahead and talk about the lock screen. So if we swipe up, you get your own notifications. I don't have any, and if you swipe down, you'll see all of your current notifications. If you swipe to the left, you get your widgets. If you swipe to the right, you get your camera. Nothing left behind there. Everything seems to be working just fine. Now, when you unlock your device, you get the same animations as you do on a newer device, and you also get the same keypad or number pad on the lock screen with the same animations so nothing was left there now there's a few options and settings that i want to talk about that i think you guys are going to be really really impressed starting with the messages tabs of course you have the iMessage built into all iphones but the message on icloud option which allows you to sync conversations of your messages applications to your next device so if you're just going to switch to a different device click sync and this is going to sync all of your messages on this device to the next iPhone that you choose to use so you don't lose your messages. This is a very, very important option for a lot of users. I have a lot of people always asking about this and it, I'm happy that Apple allows the older devices to take advantage of this as well. Now, a few options that I've also wanted to point out is the ability to get a full featured camera settings option like a QR scanner with the camera. If you haven't watched my full recap of iOS 11, a QR scanner is built into the camera now with the new software. You got the new formats, the grid everything is there nothing was left behind when it came to the camera account and password settings and options that tab is also present emergency sos is also present a very important option for a lot of people including myself to allow the iphone to contact emergency service in case you need it and of course also contact whoever you have as an emergency contact after you set up your uh, health id on your ios device now here under display and brightness the only option that we have missing here is the rise to wake we don't have anything else missing from there everything else works including the night shift which is one of the latest features on the iPhone with iOS in terms of notifications we have the same option up here for previews on all notifications that option is present on newer devices is here as well the ability to set up an iPhone to iPhone using iOS 11 to sync all your iCloud information and of course Wi-Fi information without having to enter it and if you haven't watched that video I'll link you guys down below it's a very cool way where you can scan your iPhone uh, when you're setting it up and you get all your passwords for all your Wi-Fi network connections and you get all of your other iCloud information synced as well now I want to go here into generals accessibilities and go to the assistive touch options here if we enable it we have a fully featured assistive touch on iPhone 5s as well now if you haven't watched my full recap as I mentioned it's gonna be in the description but you see here SOS restart your iPhone and all of those other gestures that we see on the newer devices are here now here down here we have the shutdown button a very useful option in case you have any issues with your power button at any time jumping on to background app I refresh right here we have the options for Wi-Fi cellular and Wi-Fi whichever you choose and you can turn those off so that option is available on newer devices it's available on the iPhone 5s now right here we also have some additional options as you can see here for the breakdown of what the device in terms of space is using including system storage so right here i wanted to point out that this device running ios 11 i've gained close to a gigabyte of space back with the os optimization so space is one of those things that older devices need because apple used to roll out these devices with a starting 16 gigabyte storage capacity so having the os optimization that gives you storage back very useful are your handoff options and apple carplay options are here including some of the new options here under display accommodation which is the smart invert some people call the dark mode it is also available on the iphone 5s no compromises there so so far we have have pretty much everything that we have on a newer device on this 
older device, the iPhone 5S. The Photos application, including your editing settings, are here. All of the filters are also here, so nothing was left behind when it comes to the Messages application, of course. All your iCloud stuff is there. As I mentioned, the QR code reader is built into the camera using the software, so no compromises there. Now, another option that I was very happy to learn that Apple allowed new users or old users of iPhone 5S to use on the older devices is the screen recorder. A brand new screen recorder is available. Now this would have been one of those features that Apple would have left behind on older devices just to get people to update to the latest hardware and they would have called it a hardware limitation. But no, this time around they didn't. And one of the most impressive to me, one of the most impressive things that Apple did is give this old device, iPhone 5S, a 3D touch like function. So long press instead of pressure sensitive display is here. You see here the night shift option, the brightness, everything works with a long press as if we had 3D touch on an older device. All your toggles are here. Your network connections and wireless connection settings are all here. Your music player and music playback controls are all here, including all of your settings in control center. So I'm very happy with Apple, with what they did with the iPhone 5S and all of the settings and all the options available within the iPhone 5S running iOS 11. I am so happy that Apple added, including the file management application and new icons, new layout, new UI. They, they really didn't leave a whole lot behind i'm so happy to see that and i know you guys are going to be very very excited to learn that as well including all of your siri options all the new siri options are available call options uh, siri features which are not hardware limited but they're all all here so that is great news this is ios 11 beta 1 on the iphone 5s of course battery is not the best of yet the performance isn't the best of yet i wouldn't recommend updating just now but when you get your hands on ios 11 11 on an iPhone 5s I think you're gonna be really really impressed but anyway guys I'm very happy with iOS 11 and I think you will be too once you get your hands on it if you like to get a developer preview you can sign up I'll link you guys down below or a public beta tester if you want to become one of those and install it on your device now I will leave it in the description I don't recommend it as of yet but I think we're all going to be really happy with what Apple did with iOS 11. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a very quick review of iOS 11 on the iPhone 5S. It's been iDevice Help, and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.